Welcome back to the show. Time for some 814 Eats. Again, we've got the Spice Sisters, Yasmin and Margaret here. <laughs> Ladies, welcome back to the kitchen. We've got some more uh, great things up our sleeves with uh, your amazing spices. What are we starting with? We are going to start with something that, a uh, canapé that we may, we're we making for our um, March 17th event. Oh, we'll give another Salsarama. dinner. Salsarama, yes. Right. <laughs> and so what we've done is we've got a... Fry, frying pan. We're going to put a little olive oil in here. Ooh. We're going to put a So little... this is a little bit of a preview of this salsarama. Yes. We Well, we have 12 courses. Most of the courses are highlighting our um, different um, products. And so put some butter in. Oh, Ooh. there's paper on that butter. So we're kind of <laughs> mixing oil and butter? Just yes, to give it a little flavor. oil and butter. The butter is really for the flavor. Yeah. The oil is because, you know, it it holds up to uh, the frying. Mm -hmm. And you don't really fry with olive oil. What you do with olive oil is you, um, you saute. If you get too hot, it's not healthy. But right. if you if you do it at a lower heat, it's beautiful. Because it's got different smoke points. Right. That's what you have Olive to oil has a low smoke yeah. point. Yeah, like 200. You know more than me. Okay. <laughs> All I know is you don't want it good. to smoke. So we're just going to... And then gonna, we're going to be adding... Those are sweet potatoes? These are sweet potatoes that we peeled. Actually, Yasmin peeled. And we sliced them up in about a quarter of an inch. Yeah. And then we... Um, a quarter in the olive oil. Yeah, we put them in the microwave. Oh, nice for just about three minutes mm -hmm. and let's turn this up a little higher. Sweet potatoes traditionally take a while to cook. So yes. that's yes. why it's that's a little foods. bit of a trick is you put them in the microwave yeah. and get them started. The slices to yes. get them going. And the other thing we're gonna do to our butter now is we're gonna add some of our oh golly, uh, red velvet. A little bit to go around. A little spill in the kitchen <laughs> never hurt anybody. That's we're gonna okay. put a couple of tablespoons in here. Ooh, it's so fragrant. And that yeah. is your red velvet. Yeah, and the red velvet, it, you know, it isn't just the beets. It's got the, um, goodness, it's got fennel. Guess me, what else is in there? It's got orange peel, cardamom, fennel, some Ooh. ginger powder. Mm -hmm. It's Yeah, it's nice and flavorful. It's also very subtle, those flavors. So I you love really, the color. You start yeah. to learn over time what spices and seasonings go well with certain foods and really bring right. out flavors. And, yeah. and it's, you know, you have to think outside the box. So the last couple of times we've been on here, we used the red velvet to make um, the um, beverages, you know, the drinks. It's gorgeous mm -hmm. in drinks. So now we're just going to lay these in here. Help, yeah. Thank you, dear. And um, we're just going to let them get a little bit golden mm -hmm. and pick up some of this delicious um, spice. Yes. Okay, and what is this dish called? We're calling this a red velvet can a sweet, sweet potato. potato canapé. Canapé. Um, what is a canapé? Right, and a canapé is always a base, and then a spread, and then a topping. Mm. So you can do anything you want. Usually, it's a cracker. It could be like some cheese or some tuna salad or oh, anything yeah. you want mm. and then for a topping we brought a couple of well we brought some uh, the the spread is going to be an herbed goat and cream cheese and then the topping is just some um chopped walnuts oh, yes. sorry, it's not walnuts it's um almonds yes <laughs> i look at yes me <laughs> Yeah, okay, so see how I love nice it because we can down. tell the yes. difference in the personalities mm -hmm. because Margaret gets distracted. Yasmin is watching the process. Yep. She said, You might want to check that. <laughs> so they picked up some nice color. They did. And uh, so, what you want to do is uh, to let them cool, we put together a little something from your kitchen. I'm glad you had it here. Uh, some. Um, you want to use like a little bit of a, uh, like a drying rack or a, um, okay. what a cooling rack. So you need this yes. plate. Yeah. No, Did I you need. Want this one here? Okay. That's what this I, well, I want. Perfect. This and all of our friends, I think that's from this. Squiggy's Pizza. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay. See how we do this. This way here, we don't lose any. If we put it on uh, a paper towel, we're going to lose all of our gorgeous. Mm -hmm. color and so we're going to turn the heat off because you just want to warm these up a little 
Now, while they're cooling, you want to put them, like I said, on the rack. And while they're cooling, Yasmin's going to tell you about our salad for the yes. evening. Yes. So this salad is a, we chopped up a bunch of vegetables. We have carrots here, some cucumbers, and all the bell peppers, orange, How red, beautiful. green, and yellow. Um, Seems pretty healthy, too. Yes, very healthy. <laughs> We're trying to be a little healthy here. Um, and then we got some green goddess salad dressing and we're going to assemble this. Well, and we just want to show you the okay. vegetables we use. And okay. what spice of yours are we adding to we're this? We're adding yes, at the end the tingly togarashi. Oh, tingly togarashi? Yes. yes. So that oh, has let me give this white and black sesame seeds, Ooh. some ginger powder. It does have a little bit of salt from naturally salt. I love from that. The seaweed in there. So I love it. Always, it's kind of like a natural salt. You don't yes. add any extra no. fillers into no. your spices. Yes. So that's kind of why when yeah. people buy a packet, they're getting all the You're spice. You're getting the actual ingredients. The and real deal. And salt. Yeah. Okay, so are we making them right now? Yeah, go ahead. I can ahead. definitely now, help. This we've already mixed. Let's get this out of your are way. Are we using these as boats? Yes, yes. that's yes. our little on these boat. Why don't you go ahead yeah. and make a boat? <laughs> so you just, so you just stuff a, a little bit of this? Yes. Right inside. Go ahead and fill that, and then you can sprinkle some crushed peanuts for a crust. Wow. Okay, so remind me, togarashi. this is all those delicious veggies. Yes. We're just putting them right Marinated. into... Some of this? Yes. Peanuts, crushed, roasted, salted peanuts. I love Green Goddess, by the way. And some... We do, And too. then we you can don't have forget... The togarashi. The togarashi. So is togarashi mm. spicy? A little bit of that, too. No. Like, is it it's hot? Only got, it's got a little like bit a... of warmth from the Korean chili pepper, gochugaru. Oh. But what it really oh, has that. is the Sichuan pepper, Cheers. and it gives so your mouth beautiful. a tingle. <laughs> okay. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yes. Watch, watch it's dripping. Mm, 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 mm. I don't want to get them. I love all those flavors. Mm. Bright, crunchy. Refreshing. The sweetness from the bell pepper. Mmm. Oh, and healthy. This is yummy. And healthy, yes. Very, very good. Okay, and this is also going to be on the menu at the Saucerama. Yeah. Yes. We have a picture, actually, mm -hmm. of the menu. 12 courses coming up March 17th. Ladies, where is it? It's going to be at uh, 160 Jari Drive, and that is home of Spice Sisters. And we have a nice big room with lots of space, and we're going to um, be able to... Um, stretch out and enjoy. We have so much fun at these events. Um, everybody's talking and laughing and we're eating. Mm -hmm. and it's BYOB, so there'll be a little drinking. Hey, <laughs> and we do make mocktails. Um, today we brought real cocktails. <laughs> but we do, at the events, we always have a mocktail. And that way there are people don't want to drink. They don't have to. Now we're going to finish off our canapes with um, some of the cheese mm. and uh, there we go and what type of cheese is this Margaret? this is goat cheese and um, it's equal parts goat cheese and, yeah yes, me um, made it cream cheese too and equal parts goat cheese and cream cheese and a little bit of uh, two tablespoons of Greek yogurt oh, with yummy. some chopped parsley yeah. 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 all mixed together and then what you want to do is <laughs> let's see okay we plates are we just Take gonna go for it yeah go for it it's now pick food. one up and then sprinkle a little nuts on it a little bit of these you said uh, almonds chopped almonds. almonds yes i like this it's gonna be a, a little bit of a crunch with something um creamy yeah okay morgan you ready to give it a taste Ladies, do you mind telling viewers how they can uh, come on out mm. to your 12-course tasting? We're selling tickets on Allegheny Marketplace. Um, mm. and oh, that's that, tasty. Oh, that is good. Really, yeah. really nice Now, flavor. that's like a warm canapé. Um, and now, this is our uh, digestif. So mm -hmm. after you have 12 courses, you're going to need a little something to aid the digestion. So we went with a fun choice. This is a grasshopper. <laughs> and the, oh, oh, you know what, Yasmin? Can I just have the <laughs> chocolate? 
Well, I'm actually not sure quite how much time we have to make the cocktail, but if you can whip it up pretty quick, I we can. can give it a go. Here, somebody <laughs> put that. We'll rim the glass. Yeah, okay. rim the glass. I used to be a bartender. Put, me, put me at it. Put, put me in, coach. So, so are you we... talking about a little bit of a rimming? Yeah, a <laughs> little half and half. A little... Creme de mint and the some won't come out. creme de cocoa. Okay. Uh -oh. It's fine. And I think I'm going to just... Oh, give... okay. There we go. That <laughs> does it. This is like the chocolate shell, so it kind of hardens. Yeah, yeah, it'll harden. Is this what y'all wanted? Look at and that. Look at you, Rebecca. Now, I told get the you other I knew one. what I was give doing. Give the other one to her. Oh, Let her just a little bit okay, so of water in there. Nice you put the creme de mint. Yes. And oh, now, beautiful. this is our spice in here. <laughs> is the black magic. Okay. So, oh, you made that so pretty. <laughs> we. 10 a.m., baby. <laughs> All right, now with just the moment. I love of... this, because it's like that mint chocolate. Oh, and this is perfect Look for St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. Oh, so you can Delicious. get this, you're gonna make this a mocktail form for yes, the Yes, we're gonna party. make it in a mocktail form, but if you <gasps> happen to bring some vodka, Goodness. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> hey, cheers. cheers to you, ladies. Thank you so much for coming. Our pleasure. Mm. Okay. Oh. Happy day. We will have all the details so you guys can check out the Spice Sisters over on our website. Ladies, thanks that for coming on. That is delicious. We've got a lot more still to come, including this.